When we look at an apple like this, we don't necessarily think of beauty. We think of uh, what's happening to the apple. But I'm a mycologist by training, and so what I look at this, when I look at this, I think, gee, look at all that spore production there. Look at all that's going on with that apple. Rotten apples seems like an odd thing to come out and look at. But these are a set of models that were part of a series that the Blaschkas did. They illustrate the diseases of plants. They are blown glass, and they're painted, and they're colored. They're fantastic representations of what the real things look like. For me, it's looking at these and realizing that if I zoom in, I bring out my microscope and I look at these, there's fantastic structures to be seen. And we have one model that is particularly instructive in that way. It's called Aspergillus. It's a glass model of a fungus, and if you kind of let yourself think about this, it's almost like walking through a forest. It's so beautiful, the way in which it's arranged, and it shows these developmental stages of how the spores are formed. These models are part of an kind of experimental series with Rudolf Blaschka, where he was using different techniques and different classes. In some cases, the, the glass had a kind of effervescence on the surface of the apple. And so each of these was cleaned to remove that powdery coating and then they were painted and touched up uh, so that they are really kind of the apple of our eye. We can look at them and appreciate them as objects that are both the model and they remind us of apple pie and candy apples and all those wonderful things. We think of the museum as being a primary way in which Harvard research and activities can be presented to the public. And in an exhibit like this, which we think is topical and important for people to realize about food security and food sources, it's another way to reach out and reach the public. And because of its beauty, because of the rarity of these models, and because of the stories that we can tell around the apples and their diseases, we think that the public will leave with a broader appreciation of both museums and of biology of plants. <laughs>